It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. Brought to you by ProMed Ambulance Services, care you can count on, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Today we're going to talk about the king. No, not Elvis Presley, but Richard Petty, one of NASCAR's greatest ever drivers. A member of one of auto racing's many familial dynasties, Richard, born July 2nd, 1937, in Level Cross, North Carolina, is the son of NASCAR Hall of Famer Lee Petty, a first-generation driver. Richard's younger brother was late Maurice Petty, a NASCAR crew chief and engine builder for Petty Enterprises, of which he was part owner. Lee Petty won the first-ever Daytona 500 in 1959 one year after Richard began his own career in the business. Richard Petty would be named NASCAR Rookie of the Year that season after producing nine top ten finishes and six top five finishes. Petty would score his first win in 1960 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. The win was an important first step in Petty's impressive racing career. After some years of fighting his way through the pack, Petty had a breakthrough season in 1963 with wins at Martinsville and Bridgehampton. In 1964, Petty led 184 of the 200 laps to capture his first Daytona 500 victory. The win was one of eight for Petty that season and helped power him to his first championship. Petty would secure a second Daytona 500 win in 1967, thus becoming the first driver ever to win the event twice. Petty won 27 of the 48 races he entered that year, including a record 10 wins in a row, giving him a second championship. One of those wins, his fifth, occurred in 1974, when the 500 was shortened to 180 laps and 450 miles, as symbolically, the race started on lap 21. This race is often known as the Daytona 450. Petty and Johnny Allison combined to lead 29 times for 120 laps, while other strong cars included Cale Yarbrough, Bobby Allison, A.J. Foyt, who started 35th, Cuckoo Marlin, who started 31st, and pole sitter David Pearson. Petty promised his mother not to accept alcohol sponsorship. Therefore, he never collected purses for the Bud Pole Award and competed at the Bush Clash only once in 1980. Richard Petty's final win came at the Firecracker 400 on July 4th, 1984 at Daytona Speedway with President Ronald Reagan in attendance. In 1989, he became the sole stock car representative and the first class inducted into the Motorsports Hall of Fame of America. After Petty's retirement in 1992, President George H.W. Bush presented him with the Medal of Freedom. Petty's NASCAR career produced some hugely impressive stats. He ranks first in numerous categories, including races started, the most top five finishes, the most top ten finishes, the most pole positions earned, and the most laps completed. In total, Petty won 200 races during his career, nearly double that of the next closest competitor. Post-NASCAR competition in 1995, Petty moved to the television broadcast booth, joining CBS as a color commentator. In 1997, he was inducted into the International Motorsports Hall of Fame, and in 1998, he was named one of NASCAR's 50 greatest drivers. In 2010, he was finally voted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame, his late father being inducted a year later. Petty's other post-NASCAR activities include product endorsements, serving as Grand Marshal for the 2011 STP 400 of the Sprint Cup Series and supporting Donald Trump's 2016 presidential campaign. In public, he is usually seen wearing his trademark sunglasses and a Charlie One Horse cowboy hat with a large snakeskin hat band and a plume of rooster feathers at the front. His son Kyle became a NASCAR driver in his own right. So did his grandson Adam, who was killed in a practice session for the Bush 200 race in May of 2000. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me for Trivia Tracks weekdays at 645 on Everybody's Country, Y95.